Okay. Friend, did you show over? Friend or family member that needs a daily dose of Ramsey advice in their life, let them know about the Ramsey Call Today podcast. It's a quick hit of advice about life and money in under 10 minutes. Check out the Ramsey Call Today podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. After show beginning. As usual, we just wait a few minutes for people to get into the chat. And while waiting for that, I will put some links into the chat. Oh, let's see. What do we put in there? We put schedule a free financial coaching. What up, AJ? Yeah, millionaire trolls are, 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 that's a different one. That's interesting. Hey, my mic is uh, kind of kind of going in the red a little bit. How's the audio, AJ? It's just kind of kind of going in the red, just a little bit. I don't know. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying it's dangerous to have a race car in the red. Free financial consultation. Uh, oh. And then I gotta put the link there. Got distracted. By AJ. Shame on you, AJ. Oh, also, I forgot to turn the fan off. Be right back. That's better. All right, how is it now? I guess I could hit the filter and turn that off, turn it down a little, little bit more. All righty, let's see. Okay, that's that's better. It should still be plenty, plenty loud enough. What was I doing? Oh yeah, two more things to put in the chat, and then we'll get going. No real clipping or anything. You can let me know how it does on the thong. I think we're all right now. Um, email about anything. Yes, anything. And that would, of course, be Coach Steve Money at... What up, Matt? Happy New Year to you too, sir. Gmail.com and donations. PayPal. Whoops. It does not, the link will not work unless you type it correctly. I assure you people that. There we go. Me paypal.me slash coach Steve money is the link for donations. Not qualified for the uh YouTube monetization, not super chats, not money from uh watch time until this 310 number says a thousand. So More views on his account, possibly. It's possible. Oh, he gets financial. Oh, I see now. I got it. I got it now. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, if I ever go on some debt, uh, 
Yeah, if I ever go on some some uh, uh, debt leverage stream and troll on there just to get views on my channel, just shoot me, will you? If I do that, because that will mean I have lost my mind at that point. Alrighty, well, uh, let's uh, get going here. Uh, we have this song. You guys have heard it before. AJ is supposed to provide me with an instrumental track of this. I'm supposed to learn it. We might have even supposed to have been doing it live. Live. Listen for the drum taps. Like all plans, it starts with step one. Thousand buck emergency fund. Step two, you'll pay off all your debt. Except mortgage, we don't do that yet. So pay off your consumer debt. Every one of the charges, from smallest to largest. Baby step three is next. Full emergency fund of expenses. Stay gazelle intensive. His name is Dave Ramsey and this is his plan. And I hope to meet him. I admire the man. I've messed up in my life, but these steps have made it right. That's why I go, that's why I go, and why I host this YouTube show. If you don't like results you're getting now, you should do the baby steps. Yes, you. And if you want to have financial peace, then you should do Dave's baby steps. A step four is when you can take a breath. Go less gazelle and invest. Step five is the save for your kids. No student loans at all for college. Six is to pay off your home. Step seven, build your wealth and don't keep it all yourself and You've lived like nobody else. And now you get to live large. And now you get to give large. His name is Dave Ramsey. And this is his plan. And I hope to meet him. I admire that man. I've messed up in my life. But these steps have made it right. That's why I go. That's why I go. That's why. And why I host my YouTube show. If you don't like results you're getting now. You should do the baby steps. And if you want to have financial peace. Uh, you should do Dave's baby steps. Trumpet take it home. Live from Columbus. Oh, H, it's the Ramsey Show after show show. Brought to you by Tina Share, the Queen of Sheba. Here we talk about the Ramsey Show, the Ramsey Show YouTube chat, and the people in it, and all things financial and whatever else I would like to talk about. Just had the idea to bring that over here so I can look at the uh, webcam. Uh, I'm your host, Coach Steve Money. I'm a certified Ramsey Solutions financial coach, and you can schedule a free consultation assessment with me at calendly.com slash Coach Steve Money. The link is at the top of the chat and in the video description. You can email me about anything. Yes, anything. Coach Steve Money at gmail.com. I'm also on the Grump. Add me on the Grump. At uh, Coach Steve Money, no spaces. That's Instagram, in case you missed that. And if you'd like to donate to the channel so I can make it better, paypal.me, Coach Steve Money. And if you do donate, that lessens the chances of me going to some debt leverage 
uh, chat and trolling to try to drum up business for this channel. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Oh, Casey is out. He didn't have time. Didn't have time. AJ says one day on the uh, instrumental part of it. You see what I was doing there, AJ? As far as the as far as the in my mind, I hear hear like a like a chorus of background singers, and and I'm so I'm working on that in my mind at least anyway. So we'll see we'll see how that goes. Um, what else do we have? Um, today is Ramsey Show hosts on an all new show in the year of our Lord 2022. Were Dave Ramsey and that gentleman would be the author of Total Money Makeover and his new book coming out on January 11th called Baby Steps Millionaires, and that happens on the 11th. And uh, on January 12th, supposedly, tried to get him to uh, uh, confirm it in the chat, but supposedly, George's debt-free scream is going to be on January 12th. Uh, AJ likes the backup vocals. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just one, one place that it can, it can go in that one line there. So there's there's tons of other places it can go. Um so 11th day book Dave's book comes out Baby Steps Millionaire uh January 12th supposedly again uh George Camel's uh debt free scream. I'm assuming live on the debt free stage that'll be and probably the whole uh company will be there in the lobby. That would be fun. Uh and on Thursday, January 13th, this free live stream, uh, Building Wealth in 2022. And you can register, uh, you can put in your email and click the register button. And I'm assuming what that will do, what it's done in the past when there's been free live streams, is it just sends you a link to it and the reminder of it. But if you go on any of the, um, the Ramsey channels, they should have a link to it as well uh and like the countdown link will which would be on early that day as well usually um <laughs> and interesting they are doing it at a church uh near the studio they're not actually doing it in the uh theater auto slash auditorium whatever it is uh at the at ramsey solutions um and uh, that night at Building Wealth in 22, 22, what year is it? 2022. Okay. Uh, hosting that with him is Rachel Cruz. He knows her. He's met her before. That's his daughter. And George Camel will be there. And he also, what up, Maddie Bags? He also co hosted today. And of course, we do have the little bit of the George camel song and so what we're gonna do today normally I only sing just this uh half actually it's a quarter of a verse and then the the uh, uh chorus uh but let's do the whole thing today and we'll just sing the uh actually it's rapping actually we'll just rap the quarter chorus we'll do that four times and then go into the thing you guys ready you guys ready to do that? Do you understand the synopsis here? We're doing the, we're doing the quarter chorus. We're doing a quarter verse. We're doing that one four times in a row, so it fills the space, and then going into the uh, chorus there. All right, just do the best you can. I know we haven't practiced this. We we we'll, we'll, next we should really have a rehearsal, guys. Sometimes we'll have to do that. This song really is fire. I'm talking about the original song. And Dojo's Three Podcast, they don't cost a cent. Borrow future on trade leadership and the fine print. It's Dojo's Three Podcast, they don't cost a cent. 
borrow future on trade leadership and the fine print. I said George Hill's three podcast. They don't cost a cent. Borrow future on trade leadership and the fine print. George Hill's three podcast. They don't cost a cent. Borrow future on trade leadership and the fine print. Opened up a YouTube, saw the thumbnail was camel. It's always fun with George on the panel. Ayo wears ASOS and Deloney wears flannel. No one does it better than our guy George Camel. Put his house off! Baby Step 7, guys! House and everything. Paid off. And like I said, supposedly. His um, Dead Free Scream will be January 12th, supposedly, according to what he said uh, at some point, according to Tina Share, the Queen of Sheba, heard it on an episode. I did not hear it, but she went back and confirmed it. So I tried to get him to uh, confirm it in the chat, but uh, he did not do so. So once more, uh, Day's book. Um, what's called Baby Steps Millionaires comes out on the 11th. 12th is the Camel's uh, Debt Free Scream, and uh, Thursday, January 13th, is the free live stream, and that is 7 p.m. Central Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Time where it matters. That's the only real time zone that matters. <laughs> Market report. Everything's up today. Fortunately, let's see. The gun smoke goes. Is there a certain point in savings or a golden golden ratio for earnings to debt where you would start considering st stimulating a business or a personal project with a small loan? Negative, Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Uh, baby step zero. This, uh, Dave Ramsey's advice is, is based on the baby steps. Uh, Google them if you haven't heard of them. Uh, and, um, baby step zero. It doesn't say it on there, but baby step zero is you decide to take loans off the table. Uh, Dave stimulates a business and does personal projects. Guess how he does it? Cash on the barrel head. His four hundred million dollar building that he's uh, still they're still working on the second half of it right now, and uh, he's paying for that all in cash. So no loans. So there, there's no golden ratio for that. There's no you never reach a point if you're going to follow Dave Ramsey's advice. You don't. There's not a point where you would reach or any kind of situation where a loan is okay. You never do that. You never do that. Um, a, as far as like even a even a 401k loan where you're borrowing from yourself, you still have to pay it back. Um, the only well, actually, he doesn't even recommend that. He recommends if you you the only time you would pull from your retirement would be in the case uh, of uh, preventing a foreclosure or bankruptcy. All right. Yep. He's a, yeah, the only the only um, loan ever, Maddie Bags is right, is your residential mortgage, not a not a rental building. But a just your home mortgage, you can get a uh, mortgage on for your the residence you are living in, but no rentals. Everything else, you build the business at the speed of cash. Alrighty, so as we can see here, the Nasdaq is up one point two percent, and Russell's up just a point oh one percent higher. Uh, but, uh, since the NASDAQ is almost up twice as much as the S&P 500, that probably means, yes, yours truly will win fantasy mutual funds tomorrow. Uh, but I'm two behind right now. Troy story with his boomer funds. He's leading, uh, nine to seven or is it 10 to seven now? Something like that. Alrighty. 
Um, let's see what else is interesting here. Uh, Dow Jones up 0.68, S&P 0.64 percent, uh, and the small cap Russell index. Uh, I like to check on that every so often to see if it's come back at all. Uh, you can see that high point on November 8th there, and it's just uh, stayed down since then. Um, look at it. There's your right there is your Pandy crash right there, 33% down, as you can see. But just like everything else, it was back uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, and has gone on to new heights, but uh, hasn't hasn't gotten back up to that November eight number yet. And that would, of course, be the Russell uh, two thousand index. That's your small cap index. All right, let's uh, see if there's any fun uh, earnings reports coming. Delta Airlines, where's Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup. It's always fun when the banks tell you what, what money they've earned. And BlackRock, I do not know what they make. Uh, and the most followed single stocks on the Google, of course. Dave Ramsey doesn't re recommend single stocks, but they are in mutual funds, so that's why we talk about them. Um, let's see. The only one down, of course, is Microsoft, 0.47, almost, almost half a percent down. Uh, everything else up and led by um, Tesla up 13.5%. And that is due to the um, amount of vehicles delivered, I believe. I believe they had good numbers on, on a report this morning about how many vehicles that they have delivered. So Amazon up 2.21%. Uh, at the end of last week, it went down a little bit. Uh, so that has uh, taken care of that. And Alphabet with James Google, uh, just a little bit, 0.10%. And 2.5% for Apple as Apple becomes, I think I have this somewhere. Where do I have this? Do, 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 do. There it is. Apple becomes the first U.S. company to reach $300 trillion market cap. So... Uh, Apple hit market cap of 300 trillion briefly during trading on Monday. The milestone is mostly symbolic, but it represents investor recognition of Apple's success over the past few years as the company has reported several raking, breaking, raker, record breaking quarters of big growth in all its product lines. Apple's cash flow also makes the stock a safe haven during times of market uncertainty. Well, we don't uh, do the individual stock. Now, granted, if you bought the stock a long, 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 long time ago, you are sitting pretty and uh, no one's going to blame you for you know, not wanting to sell it if you have that one. But um, in general, as far as unless, you know, unless you get something because you never know, you never know if you if you bought you could have bought Apple, you could have bought Enron or any number of other companies that went out of business. So uh, and you don't know. Like, like, right, I mean, right now, everybody thinks the crypto is the thing. And if you bought it in the beginning, you are sitting pretty now. So, but nobody can tell what's going to happen in the future, especially with probably regulation coming, et cetera, et cetera. All right, back to the finance page. Oh, let's see. AJ says, so it's a slippery slope. Obviously, Coach had said no loans, but on top of that, not all loans are created equally. Well, it doesn't matter if we say no loans. So, illogical, Captain. Loans on assets transfer value from the loan to the asset. Using a loan to pay for freelancers is basically like financing payroll. Yeah, if they don't bring back value, you know, yeah, loan and no more. Okay, all right. Yeah, people do stuff like that, but it increases the risk. Yeah, yeah, they do stuff like that a lot. And then you end up like, uh, oh, I don't know who. Oh, the U.S. government now that, that borrows money to pay interest on other loans. What up, Judy Pine? Didn't see you there. Yeah, you don't want to borrow money to pay freelancers. They, m they might make you money. They might not. Use your own money. 
to pay them if you think they're a good idea. Oh, let's check the rest of the planet. We got the Europe mostly up. Asia mixed. Currencies, the Euro is down against the dollar. The Japanese Yen is down against the dollar. The British Pound Louvre is down against the dollar. The Canadian dollar E is down against the dollar. And every it's a, it's a, it's a grand slam home run for the US dollar kids. Go USA, look at that. The Australian dollar might down against the US dollar. All right, and this breaking news, well, 30 minutes ago. Uh, stock futures are flat after Dow and S&P 500 close at records. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about checking them for records, but there you go. Dow and S&P at records. Uh, and yet, Steve probably still going to win fantasy mutual funds tomorrow because of the NASDAQ being up twice as much as those people. Um, and let's check our pals in crypto all down at the moment. So let's check Bitcoin to see if it's been down all day. No, it got up a little, little bit. It was up a little bit around, uh, UTC. What? What am I? Oh, it's because it's um, because it's Bitcoin and they have it on a different time period. So I don't know. I don't know when that is. When twelve twenty one uh, p.m. is today. So I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because it. I guess it doesn't stop. I guess the uh, tracking of this goes constantly, and that would be a, that would be a headache, wouldn't it? So that's been, as you can see, going down. I mean, um, still up for uh, six months. Uh, down, uh, oh, the year to date uh, is going to be down, obviously, because it's just one day. Uh, it, you know, and it's up, up for one year, and certainly it's going to be up five years. So, you know, if you, if you invested anywhere in here or right there, if you bought it, uh, you know, then right, right here, you're sitting pretty. And then, you know, I mean, you still are, are way up if you even right there and right where it is now. But, uh, like that would have been a good point to sell. And that's why I'm guessing a lot of people did sell. And that's why it's lower. Um, check the last month. There you go. That's the whole month. So that's your, that's your Bitcoin there, as they say. Um, boom, boom, boom. what else do we need to do from here? Anything? No, that's all we did. I did the accents, checking the rest of the planet. Uh, so we are good. And we just talked about that. Uh, let's see if there's any interesting. Uh, so everything flat there. As I said, in the, uh, in the after hours trading, but can always change by tomorrow. Uh, do I have any? I have not have crypto. I do not have crypto. Um, and Dave Ramsey does not recommend it. Uh, you can't go into a store and buy something. You can't go buy bread with crypto. You can't even people, even uh, companies that accept it, like Tesla, they don't accept it for cars. You can buy like swag from their website with crypto, and that's it. You can't do anything with it in China because they're not playing ball. Uh, do I think there the was that Facebook's crypto will get win? Uh no. I mean it's 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 hard to tell. I mean my opinion doesn't matter because I, I really don't care about it. It's gonna crypto for to be massly accepted, it's gonna have to be mass accepted everywhere. And now and the problem is here, once all this regulation starts out, Congress is coming after them big time this year. So uh and then and then they'll be much more highly regulated and i would bet people would lose the interest in that because when they um when they oh that's right dm yeah i have heard of that um once that happens uh some of the kids aren't going to be into that anymore and the uh no problem and the um 
um, the Reddit people will be like, oh, yeah, I don't like that anymore. So then it may drop big time, even, even more than it's going down today, as you saw. And also another problem is uh, there's 25 million different kinds of them. So 25 million different kinds of, of crypto. So, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not like, um, where each one, you know, represents a company like a stock. Um, and then, and then you can have, I mean, I don't know if they are going to plan on, on, um, yeah, like, in, you know, put them in ETFs and have different, um, a bunch of different, uh, crypto in one, but all of them aren't, can't make it. So, you know, people are going to have to, uh, uh, pick and choose there, but there's way too many. There's way too many of them. You know, since it's a, a currency, that's, I mean, we have, we have different currencies in different countries in the world, but we don't have as, we don't have as many different currencies in the world as there are crypto right now. So which one do you buy? Uh, let's see what else we got. What is this? And this does, oh, it just took a second to show up here. This from, uh, gobankingrates.com with their, uh, Vanguard ad up at the top. Uh, money saving resolutions you'll actually keep. Set smaller resolutions if you want to stick to them. And that's generally good advice because they generally be easier to keep, but you never know. Uh, 2021 turns into 2022. Many Americans make resolution of all kinds from losing weight to keeping in better touch with friends and family. Financial resolutions are also quite popular. Uh, talking about human natures make big, hard to reach goals. Uh, and so these, I guess, are smaller ones. So they bump up your retirement plan con contributions by 1%. Yeah, 1%. That's not that bad. And that's more than that was in there before. Um, this doesn't go along with the Ramsey plan because you're not doing any retirement contribution if you have debt or if you don't have your full emergency fund yet. You got to have your full emergency fund. And then once you get to baby step four, that's invest 15% of your gross income. And so you wouldn't bump that up to 16 just because some article said it. Um, and the reason you keep that at 15 is because you're... We're assuming that you have 15% going to retirement, 25%, and in a lot of cases more, going to house payment. And so the retirement number stays at 15 until you pay the house off so you can save for kid college and put the extra money on the house. Uh, start an emergency fund. That is shouldn't be new for this year. That is, of course, baby step one. Save $1,000 in a starter emergency fund. Then maybe step two, you pay off all your debt. And then baby step three, you have your full emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. And that you should definitely be doing more importantly than that. I think it's, a, it's a, perhaps even more important than bumping up your retirement plan. Absolutely it is. Uh, review the 2021 spending. All right, see where the money went. See where the money went. Uh, there's a lesson in this type of annual review and it's not to make yourself feel bad rather looking at actual spending can show you just where you tend to overspend and where you likely can cut back. I mean, I could probably cut back on the, on the raising canes probably, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, don't buy anything unless you get rid of something else. All right. That's kind of a, uh, a minimalist thing maybe. I don't know if this is one of their things or not, but uh, that's a decluttering suggestion. So, but also just because you get rid of something doesn't mean you have to buy something to replace it as well. So, but it's saying over time, I keep hitting that um, link up there. Over time, you'll be left with only your favorite items and you'll likely restrain your future spending since you won't be willing to part with what you already have. All right. Do not replace or upgrade items until necessary. Even if your condo is having a window replacement sale, do not do that. Um, and in, especially in, in uh, that person's case in the Ramsey chat, because she was still in debt. So, 
let's see, eat all the food in your house. That's right. That's uh, you don't want to have stuff sitting there, and then go to the. You got you know you got a, a week's worth of food in your house, and then you go to the store on your regular day, and then you buy another week's worth. Then you got two weeks worth, and then you go again. You know, and so it does add up, and stuff certainly goes bad. Absolutely. Uh, but or, or just sits in the cabinet if it's like a canned item that lasts a long long time that could just sit in there forever and got a texted text from somebody checking my notifications not rude keeping it real well oh, that was my daughter she did she completely forgot about father daughter video gaming and asked me why i didn't remind her about it See how it's my fault, AJ. Do you have you have kids, right? Uh, required mandatory distribution, AJ. That's what happens once you uh, once you hit retirement age. They start making you take out some uh, retirement because they don't want that uh, growing uh, slash growing tax free anymore, or slash uh, they want some taxes off of it. All right, let's see. Set up alerts and reminders for your bills. That's good advice anytime. Don't want to be late with any of that stuff. Uh, you could even set up an alert on your phone if you're supposed to play video games with your father, right? I'll text her and give her crap about that later. Um, boom, boom, boom. Um, streamline your subscriptions. Yeah, people have... People have Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, and blah, 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 and blah, 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 HBO Max, Apple TV, Disney Plus. But, you know, you, how many do you need? How many are you really watching? Uh, don't add to your debt. That is absolutely true. That's good advice all the time. A common New Year's resolution to pay off all your debt. But realistically, that's hard to do for most people. Tough. Do it. Do it. Dave Ramsey has figured out that that is the shortest way uh, for a person to become wealthy because your income is your biggest debt building. I mean, your income is your biggest uh, wealth building tool. And so if you're sending it to pay off debt, um, then you're not, you know, you're not getting the full benefit of all of that. You pay off the debt. Then you have that money to pay yourself. Oh, let's see. Use coupons, shopping portals. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, and that was the last one. Oh, alrighty. That was kind of a letdown for a last one there, but that was that was pretty cool. They were all um, they were all all right. A couple non-Davish things in there, or actually Davish things, or non-Dave at all. Uh, new year, new low rates. Thirty-year mortgage rates slide. All the other rel rates. Old, so where where did it go? It went from three point one nine percent down from three point two five percent. So point zero six. Um, fall there for the thirty year, and because the last uh, last week the uh, the mid and or the uh, what was it the fifteen and ten the. Or was it 20 and 15? I can't remember. Two of these, the, low, the 15 and one of these other ones went, uh, came down last week while the 30 year stayed up top there. Uh, let's see. Oh, AJ wants, oh, AJ wants the problems of a required distribution. Where they, oh, they're making me take money. Yeah, I, I get you, AJ. Then you, then you can get uh, you know, Apple phones and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And Clay could get a, uh, a Nintendo Switch, even though he just got an Xbox Series X. Uh, Judy Pine says it's a good problem to have. He was laughing at her. Okay. For Baby Step 6, about paying off the mortgage early. What do you say to the argument you probably heard before? Yeah, we have about investing now versus early payoff of the principal. I can be convinced either way. It's risk. You don't have... When, when people talk about this stuff and they're giving you the numbers on this, well, your mortgage is only 2 3% and you could be making 10 to 12% in the market. S&P made 22 or something like that this year percent. 
um, on your calendar, on your calendar, on your calculator. If I had one here, that'd be great. If you pretend it's a calculator, there's no risk button on here. There's no risk button on here. Uh, Dave Ramsey always says that uh, it's it's a uh, all foreclosures occur on houses with mortgages. So if yours doesn't have a mortgage on it, then it won't definitely won't be foreclosed upon. So uh, that's that. But anyway, yeah, that's that's risk. And so, you know, that's uh, debt leverage. And also what Dave Ramsey does is he t he turns it around on you. Turns it around on you. He says, okay, so if you're going to delay paying the house off so you can invest that money, why don't you take an equity loan and for as much as you can get? If they will let you have 400 times the amount of the house, why don't you borrow that on your house and invest it then? And that's the same exact thing. It doesn't make any difference if it's a lesser amount by just not paying it off early. It's the same same deal. So that's that's anyway. So that's how uh, he explains that. Uh, speaking of prone, I printed a phone case in a translucent green color on my printer. All right. Oh, hey, you got a uh, you got a three D printer there. How can you have a three? Oh, does uh, your business has the three D printer? TPU, a flexible filament. All right. Yeah, that flexible stuff that uh, I talked about, I think, oh, was it on Thursday or Friday? It talked about the the new phones that you can flip. Got my webcam there. Knocked it off of the flash drive it's resting on. That's right. We have, we have high-tech equipment here. It's webcam, and it doesn't point up quite enough, so I put a, a flash drive underneath it. Uh, let's see. Uh, this from the Motley Fool from Fool.com. I wonder if they had that originally or if they had to buy that from somebody. It's Fool.com. Gunsmoke Ghost. Uh, all right. Hey, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Oh, right. never, never mind chatting. Never, never mind explaining. You know, and in, in the end, it's your money. You can do what you want to. Uh, we've chosen to... Uh, followed Dave's advice. Some of us more than others, but you know, there you go. Bought it as a while back as another hobby, and you have it's a, you bought it as another hobby, and you haven't been using it yet. AJ, AJ, bought something and not using it. Anybody else use it? All right, from the Motley Fool. Should I open a Roth IRA for my kids in 2022? Uh, Roth IRA is a special retirement account. Uh, absolutely it is. Thank you, Senator Roth. That allows participants to enjoy tax-free income during retirement. Yeah, that's why it has that name, because uh, Senator Roth is the one that had the idea for it. They said, hey, we ought to let like the middle class uh, be able to save money and invest it for retirement and not be charged tax on that. Even if it's just a little bit, like six thousand dollars a year, we ought we ought to do that. And so and Congress uh, passed it. So how about that? Uh, there are no age restrictions, so a child can have a Roth IRA account and get a head start on their retirement and wealth building goals. But here's the kicker: the child must have earned income. So you got to have a child actor on your hands or you know some other kind of child prodigy or you got to have them uh you know you got to have them busting their hump somehow uh to earn the income and uh your allowance doesn't if he helps around the house I don't, that doesn't count as earned income uh you know but it, anyone can contribute on behalf of an eligible child oh Oh, the child can't do it but anyone can contribute on behalf of an eligible child I did not know that I did not know that at all. So a child can get the 6K a year. Interesting. That would be fun, wouldn't it? If you can do that. If all, if all your financial stuff's taken care of 
and you got an extra six grand a year sure throw that in there wow oh aj printed his friend five f 22 to give his nephews for christmas son a dinosaur of a daughter but okay so you've been using it you've been using it all right cool 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 it's good that you've been using it um boom, boom, boom. if trying to uh acce accelerate your child's wealth building potential a roth ira might do the trick although retirement planning might be the last thing on your mind when raising a child. It could be your child's golden ticket to $1 million. That's right. That's right. If you, uh, if you, add, when your, when your child is born, if you, uh, contribute 6,000 a year to their Roth IRA, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a, a million dollars in like i think 17 years something like that that's crazy so oh uh, let's see tap into benefits of roth ira don't don't quote me on that math though not not sure about that uh let's see a uh, special retirement account allows you to pay taxes on your money up front which you do and when you get your paycheck it has taxes taken out of it unlike the 401k which takes the um taxes or it doesn't take taxes out of it uh it's deferred uh taxes it's pre it's pre-tax goes into your uh 401k but then you do pay taxes on it on the growth and so that's when you take it out and so that's uh, a problem for most times it's going to be better for you to pay uh, taxes on the much smaller amount um of the contributions rather than no matter even if you're in a lower tax bracket later if you make money late less money later in retirement the amount you're gonna pay is uh, uh, a lot better to because the uh, the amount of growth is going to be so much more than the contributions so that's why you generally want to avoid that if you can and that's why it's a uh, match first in a 401k uh, and then away from the 401k and do a Roth and then back to the 401k for any additional investing. All right, let's say your child is, here's a good example. Okay, here's some math example probably. Let's say your child is 11 year old and earns money as a babysitter. You or another adult can open a custodial Roth IRA at a financial institution that offers accounts for minors and adult manages the account until the child is eligible to take control of that account, age 18 in most states. When your child reaches 59 and a half, all the money accumulated in the account will be 100% tax-free. If you expect your child to make big bucks later in life, a Roth IRA is worth considering now. As soon as your child's income exceeds the annual income limits, they will no longer be eligible to make a direct contribution to a Roth IRA. Well, uh, you know, boo-hoo on that one. So, um, the, especially if you've started a one for your child, even at 11. Uh, contribute as much as possible. Again, that's $6,000 a year. Uh, uh, you can do 7000 if you are 50 or older. Let's see. Beat setting aside money in child's piggy bank. Indeed. If you're on the fence about it, uh, funds can be used to help your child pay for college penalty free. Uh, yeah, you can you can withdraw from the Roth uh, for uh, um, college. Up to uh, ten thousand can be used to build or purchase a new home without incurring taxes or penalties. And every penny contributed to the account can be withdrawn at any time. Right. Uh, the uh, uh, Actually, and I don't know that that's 100% uh, true. Um, it may just be, that may just be a brokerage rule. It might not be uh, the actual Roth uh, law. Uh, but I think you got to wait five years is what I read on Fidelity's. Uh, website about withdrawing uh, contributions but then you can withdraw contributions anytime but you wouldn't want to you want to stay in there and make all that money alrighty 
Uh, and you want to compare that to a 529 education savings plan versus Roth. Uh, they are advising you talk to your tax professional about that. And that's one step closer to generational wealth. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, I didn't. I did not do that for my kids. I did, I didn't even do that for myself. So there's no way I could do it for my kids. Uh, but maybe they can get their crap together and do it for their kids. And maybe they can even have some kids for me, so I can have some grandchildren. Speaking of the daughter that forgot we were supposed to play father daughter video gaming yesterday. She also forgot to get me a grandchild. Uh, this is from the Day In Daily News. Kind of local for me here. The Ohio uh, minimum wage increases. Other changes coming in 2022. We've already talked about the Ohio minimum wage. Uh, Non-tipped employees, $8.80 per hour to $9.30 per hour in 2022. According to the Ohio Department of Commerce. Uh, what other? I do think it might help with the restaurant. So anything that will help the bar and restaurant industry, I'm all for. Says Linda Swarthwood with Murphy's Pub. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh, Ohioans can own and purchase consumer grade fireworks and set them off on specific holidays. Local governments can restrict the dates and times people could set them off. That might have been another. There might have been some some more regulation on that previously, I guess. Uh, Governor Mike DeWine also signed legislation to legalize sports gambling in Ohio at the end of the year. Oh, maybe at the end of 2021, he's talking about. Uh, allowing people to place bets online at casinos and at standalone betting kiosks in bars, restaurants, and professional sports Facilities that will likely take months for the Ohio Casino Control Commission to formulate rules and regulations, but that's not the governor's problem. Ohio's legislation requires that sports betting be available by January 1st of 2023. All right. AJ is out. He has things to do, things to 3D print. Um, oh, and that's it here. Uh, and if you feel bad about your inflation here, uh, Turkey's inflation soars to 36%, setting a new record for Erdogan. That's the president, I believe. President, yep, um, of the Turkey. Uh, setting a new record for his era. So um, I don't know what. Yeah, let's see. U.S. inflation. Uh, 6.2%. So, don't move to Turkey is my advice on that. I already did the Apple stuff. All right. So, um, upcoming streams, um, we have Father Daughter Video Gaming will preempt any scheduled stream except the after show and Oak Island recaps when Bella is available and when Bella remembers to uh that we were that she said she was gonna do that. Uh without me having to remind her that she said she was gonna do that. Uh Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. This show, the Ramsey Show, after show show. Uh, Mondays at 8 p.m. Hey, that's tonight. Alternating tech support and Ramsey coach support. I did Ramsey coach support last Monday. So this week it's uh, in approximately a little bit over an hour at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I will be doing tech support with Coach D Money. And on that, I go to the subreddit, the tech support subreddit on Reddit. So that's reddit.com slash r slash tech support. And I answer questions people are having there with their problem. Basically, it's computer problems is most of it. And so I say what could have caused it, uh, what they can do to troubleshoot, and perhaps what they can do to fix whatever, or if it's even worth trying to fix it. Uh, Wednesdays, no set time. The Curse of Oak Island recaps. And this Tuesday night, tomorrow night, will be on the History Channel, will be not only a new episode, there was none last week, of The Curse of Oak Island, but there will also be a new episode of the companion show Drilling Down, 
of which there was a new one last week, and so I did a recap of that one as well. Uh, so I'll be doing both those recaps, the Drilling Down recap and the actual Curse of Oak Island main show recap, and those will be up sometime on Wednesday, uh, whenever I can get them watched and get that recorded. Uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays or 8 p.m. Eastern Time is Old Man Video Gaming. That's when I play a single-player video game. And uh, I've done over the New Year's weekend. I played a bunch of Tomb Raider. Um, did six streams, eh? Yeah, six uh, six different streams of Tomb Raider. And the reason I did that is because uh, Tomb Raider is still free on store.epicgames.com. And they're still also having their holiday sale until uh, January 6th in the morning. Uh, and you can get these free games. Let's see. Uh, Tomb Raider, that's the one that I am still playing with. I'm probably maybe three quarters of the way through it. Uh, after six streams, and uh, it's Tomb Raider from 2013, then Rise of the Tomb Raider from 2015, and then uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider from 2018, and these are all the best editions with all the DLC in it, the Game of the Year edition for Tomb Raider, the 20-year celebration uh, edition of Rise of the Tomb Raider, and the definitive edition of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And they are free, as you can see. January 6th at 11 a.m. is when they stop being free. And then this uh, single game called Gods Will Fall uh, will be the free game from January 6th through the 13th. And so I'll still be, I'll be playing those a while. After I finish uh, the first Tomb Raider game, I'll probably go back to some other games and play like, a, you know, one... One day I'll do uh, Tomb Raider, and another day I'll do another one, and then go back to Tomb Raider. And I have been doing more bonus ones lately, so they, they could happen at any time. Alrighty, and uh, to do my uh, plugs again, uh, you can click this uh, link right here. That's the same link that's in the top of the chat and in the video description to schedule a free consultation that takes you to calendly.com and where you can click on financial coaching consultation assessment that brings up that page and then you can check uh your you can click the date you'd like a, an appointment and then you can click the time you'd like that appointment and then that will notify me and then that will happen uh the p is for paypal and that's how you can donate to the channel uh, and you just sit send there and you can send me some key show if you like what's going on here uh, and Instagram is that link right there and it is uh, coach Steve money on Instagram alrighty and I believe that's it and here we say make smart financial decisions every day